Welcome back. My name is Paul Fritz and um, welcome to uh, putting on the Fritz 3D visualization. What uh, we're going to do in this video series is learn how to make a simple game, um, kind of a roller type game where the ball is going to be our player, it's going to roll around the scene. I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach to this uh, game than I have in the past. In the past we've kind of built out the entire game and you followed along with what I was doing. I think what we're going to do this time is I'm going to show you how to make all of the different pieces, so the player, um, some of the blueprints for the things that we want to use as obstacles and some of the functionality of the game. I'll show you how to add textures to uh, different shapes inside of Unreal Engine and also how to import models and then how to manipulate those so you can use them inside your game. Um, but I'm not going to actually have you follow along with how I make the game. I'll show you a version of what I've got and uh, this will allow, allow you to have all the tools you need to make the game and then your own time you can lay out the game. Hopefully this makes the uh, video series much shorter and I can be more direct with each of the videos that we make. I'm going to go ahead and show you a real quick uh, demo of what this looks like. Okay, so well, okay, let's get rid of the title text real quick too. All right, so this is uh, what we've got over here. Let me get my big head out of the way so you can see this a little bit better. Uh, this is just sort of an arena that I put together, and this is what I will show you how to put together real quick so that we can uh, put our player in it and test things out, uh, kind of keep it, the player contained in a space so they don't go flying off the world, which can be frustrating. And uh, I'll show you how to add textures, and this is where we'll do the texture manipulation thing. Um, I have some models that I'll put on Dropbox if you're interested in this uh, model or these cannons over here, so that you can go to Dropbox. I'll give you those links for them. Uh, some of these are just your regular basic shapes inside of uh, Unreal Engine here. And then also some BSPs um, were created so we make a ramp. Uh, we'll have some blueprints for some pickups, so uh, some collectibles. In this case, these are kind of like a coin, but of course you can make them any shape you want. And um, we'll have a, like a, a area that does damage to our player to, that will reset the um, game if uh, a player rolls into it. There's also all the way down there at the very end, it's hard to see, but that big purple line, this is basically a blocking trigger, which blocks our, our player in so we'll show you how to use those if you're interested and then also uh, I do have another um, set of blueprints from a lesson I did a long time ago it's about an 11 minute long lesson that shows you how to make torches just like this okay um, flickering torches and that is on uh, this site right here on my uh, on my uh, channel for my first scene, it was video number seven, using blueprints to make flickering torches for our scene. Um, back on putting on the Fritz 3D visualization. All right, so let me go ahead and hit play. We'll kind of take a look to see the, some of the functionality of this, and that'll be the end of this introduction video. So you kind of know what we're gonna get yourselves into. So here, I can move forward and backwards with this ball. That's the only movement. If I look in certain directions, that's the direction that the torque will be applied. So the ball will move in that direction. Now, of course, because it already has forward momentum and mass, it doesn't react right away. If you want it to stop, you can stop it. We have a stop function built into it to stop the ball. So you can change directions more quickly. These cannons do actually have an animation added to them. I'll show you how to do the animation and how to make it so that the uh, projectiles will instantiate. Um, yeah, so we'll also have a uh, setup for a wind condition. So in order to be able to go from one level to the next, over here you don't see it because I didn't put anything next to it, but if we go into this section here, we should get reset. All right, so that would be if uh, I didn't pick up all the collectibles, okay? And the collectibles over here, okay? And we'll add sound effects and particle effects to them as well. Not doing a very good job picking them up. Once I select them all, and there's actually one inside this room, playing around a little bit with visuals and lights. So that's what's in here. We'll 
talk more about lighting and how to make things glow if you're interested in that. And then once they're all selected, if I can get out the door here, go down by this torch where this is the wind area. We'll make it a little bit more obvious the wind condition once we get there. Okay, and now you can see I'm on level two, which has nothing built onto it. And there are no collectibles, so if I just go into the wind condition, which is by these two boxes here, then we'll go to level three. Okay, and then once you make it all the way through the levels, that'll meet the total wind condition and the game will be over. So um, we'll add a few things, maybe a canvas so that we can see how many collectibles we have left to pick up, maybe something that measures our time in a way to compete, uh, how quickly you can get through uh, an obstacle level. And um, we'll also make it more obvious that you win or lose. All right, so um, hopefully that is uh, clarifies a little bit about what we're going to do here and um, like I said we're going to take each one of these as a kind of an individual lesson the first one will be how to set up our play area then uh, we'll go ahead and set up the blueprints for our player so that uh, our player can move around inside the uh, scene we can kind of start testing some things out and then we'll do some of the other blueprints about how to uh, make the kill box and how to make the win condition um, set up the cannons and things like that all right, so hopefully uh, this is uh, enough to get your interest, and I'll see you back in the next video. Take care.